Stocks as we explore the recent buzz surrounding eight rare coins that have ignited bidding wars most recently at auctions. These rare gems, each with a unique history and allure, have not only found new homes but have fetched pretty large premiums. Do you have one of these coveted coins in your possession? Let's find out. Subscribe. Number 8. 2023 Lincoln Scent with Extra V and Exerc. Graded as MS68 Red by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, a stellar example of this newly discovered variety which shows what appears to be an extra letter V following the designer's initials VDB along the bottom of Lincoln's portrait. This variety was identified earlier this year, but although NGC has certified over 80 specimens in all grade, less than 10 have been graded MS68 RD. This highly sought-after specimen ended up selling for $780. Number 7. Vividly Tone 1938 Washington Quarter. Graded as MS67 Plus by PCGS and later endorsed by CAC. A marvelous superb gem example with sharply detailed device elements and russety, amber, olive green hues that grace the surfaces around the borders. It was sold for $1,200 on November 19, 2023. Number 6. 1912 Proof Wheat Penny with Iridescent Toning on Both Sides. Graded as PR66 Brown by NGC. According to Grading Service, the matte grain of 1912 proofs typically is deeper than for other dates 1909-16, and this issue is also notable for its uniformly bold strike. While these conditions make for a wonderful illustration of the design, they have also tended to limit the number of fully red survivors. An odd feature of copper and bronze coins is that the most fully struck pieces are also the ones most susceptible to toning. This tone specimen fetched a sum of $2,040. Number 5. 1954 S. Washington Quarter. Graded as MS68 by NGC. This superb gem is extraordinarily beautiful with brilliant luster that shines through gold, russet, and iridescent toning on the obverse. The reverse blends brilliant silver luster and splashes of gold toning with peripheral iridescence. This specimen ended up selling for $1,860. Number 4. 1946 Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded as MS67FS by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, Full Steps examples of the 1946 Jefferson Nickel are occasionally seen in MS65 through MS66, but superb gems like the present are rare. This coin displays a hint of iridescent color across silver-gray surfaces, with sharp devices and pristine luster. The coin is struck from fresh dyes with no metal flow in the margins. Sold on November 17, 2023 for $3,120. Number 3. 1936 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR67 by NGC. The Philadelphia Mint resumed commercial proof offerings for collectors in 1936, after a two-decade hiatus. A small mintage of 3,837 proof Washington quarters was accomplished, the first time the design was struck in proof format. This spectacular superb gem offers sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved surfaces, with reflective fields and outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $3,240. Number 2. 1909 SVDB Cent. Graded as MS65 Red and Brown by NGC. Victor David Brenner's initials are bold on this piece, and the central devices also show strong definition. Golden copper and chestnut brown hues intermingle across each side. The preservation is excellent, and only a few faint deeper brown toning spots are visible in the right obverse field. This key date is sought after in all grades, but especially at the gem. It was sold for $3,600. Number 1. 1955 D. Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded as MS66 FS by PCGS, Grading Service reports only 45 examples of the 1955 D. Jefferson Nickel in Full Steps grades, the finest of which are in MS66 Full Steps. This premium gem displays delicate ice blue and pale lilac color across satiny, near pristine luster. The strike is sharp throughout, and there is little evidence of dye erosion in the fields. An essential registry coin that ended up selling for $5,520 on November 17, 2023. That wraps up today's episode. Thanks for watching. If you have one of this gems, don't hesitate to leave a comment below this video. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe buttons. Bye. 
Hey fellow coin enthusiasts. Get ready for an exciting journey into the world of numismatics. Today, we're delving into the realm of rare link and cents that command jaw-dropping prices at coin auctions. Don't miss out on this thrilling exploration, smash that subscribe button down below and let's plunge into the captivating stories behind these four remarkable coins. Number 4. 1922 No D Lincoln Cent with Strong Reverse. Graded in Mint State 64 Brown by PCGS. Die Pair 2. The second two in the date is sharp on this die pair, and the reverse wheat ears are crisp, a product of a new die. The No D coins from Die Pair 2 are highly sought after and rare in high grade. This satiny walnut brown example displays modest luster and is well struck. Softness on Lincoln's portrait is due to the erosion of the obverse die. This is one of the most prominent guidebook varieties in the series. It is often collected as a separated issue from the normal mint mark issue, even though both varieties were struck at Denver. This specimen fetched a sum of $32,200. Number 3. 1921 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. Delightful golden orange surfaces are fully lustrous with a much shaper strike than typically encountered for the issue. A relatively limited mintage of 15,274,000 pieces has made the 1921S a popular Lincoln cent with collectors since the year of issue. It was sold for $26,400. Number 2. 1909 VDB proof cent with matte finish. Graded as PR65 red and brown by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, warm deep golden orange surfaces with some deeper red on the high points, we note a few insignificant fly specks for accuracy, these mostly seen under low magnification. A sharp and crisp matte or sandblast proof from the first year of the new small scent design type. High, sharply distinct squared rims frame the motifs on this lovely Lincoln, much the way designer Victor D. Brenner envisioned. It was sold for $25,300. Number 1. 1911 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. The 1911 D is the premier Denver Mint small cent issue, the first examples of which were released into circulation in May of that year. A nearly flawless example boasting uniform golden apricot coloration across each side. Rich, matte-like luster blankets the fields, creating a lightly proof-like complexion across the reverse. Remarkably sharp for the issue and immensely attractive to examine in hand. A microscopic mint made planchet flaw below the M of America is the only discernible pedigree marker. It was sold for $42,000. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode featuring super rare and valuable coins you should know about. Today, we will be talking about 10 trending coins recently sold at heritage auctions for a pretty large amount. Hit that subscribe button below and let's dive in. Number 10. 1995 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 69 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, strong die doubling appears on Liberty and in God. It is less apparent, though still noticeable, on the date and we trust. This popular guide book and cherry picker's guide variety is unknown above the MS69 red grade level not surprising considering the grade is about as close to technically perfect as one could expect of a circulation strike. Fully struck copper orange surfaces are essentially pristine. Moderate flow lines appear in the fields. It was sold for $2,160. Number 9. 1943s Steel Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS and further confirmed by CAC. The 1943S Lincoln Steel Cent is collectible even as fine as MS68, although pieces in this grade are scarce with CAC endorsement and under high demand from registry collectors. The present coin is among the finest examples of this issue known. It was sold for $3,120. Number 8. 1942S Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 68 Red by NGC. The strike on this high-end superb gem is remarkably sharp, and the luminous satin luster displays uniform copper-orange color with no spots or abrasions observed. 
This penny with exceptional strike quality and preservation level ended up selling for $3,360 on January 10, 2024. Number 7. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS-64 Red and Brown by PCGS. The 1914 D. Lincoln Cent is one of the key dates in the series behind the 1909 SVDB. This choice red and brown example is in a good grade for a wide range of collectors to acquire a quality piece. However, it is scarce with its CAC approval. It ended up selling for $4,680. Number 6. 1930s Lincoln Cent with repunched mint mark S over S. The remnants of an undertype S are visible to the north of the primary mint mark, identifying the popular cherry pickers variety. This spectacular superb gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout, and the virtually flawless original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster, with outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $5,760. Number 5. 1943 Lincoln Scent with Overdate 3 over 2 and Double Die Obverse. Graded as MS-68 by PCGS. Remnants of a 2 are discernible around the 3 in the date on this variety, and the 19 in the date are doubled. The current example is the sole finest piece attributed by PCGS. It was sold for $5,760. Number 4. Attractively Tone 1910 Proof Lincoln Scent. Graded as PR67 Brown by PCGS. A pristine, luminous superb gem yielding vivid pine green, blue, violet, and golden hues beneath a brown overlay. The rims are broad and squared, complementing sharp devices. No distracting imperfections are seen. It was sold for $9,000. Number 3. 1914 Proof Lincoln Scent. Graded as PR67 Brown by PCGS. A sharp and exceptionally well-preserved superb gem example of this matte proof issue, occupying a conditionally rare grade where fewer than a dozen coins are reported at PCGS and NGC combined. Vivid sea green, blue, and violet toning covers each side. Number 2. 1955 Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded in Mint State 64 Red by PCGS. Full red examples of this double dye variety are elusive compared to brown or red and brown coins, and they are notably rare numerically finer than MS-64. This choice red coin is upper end for the issue. Each side is sharply struck and displays the expected satiny mint luster. Natural orange red luster has amber tendencies, with no mentionable spots apparent. It was sold on January 10, 2024 for $10,800. Number 1. 1922 No D. Lincoln Scent with Strong Reverse. Graded as MS-62 Brown by PCGS. Die Pair 2, showing a strong second 2 in the date. This is the so-called Strong Reverse Die Pair, which is unique among the three No D. varieties for having a fresh reverse die that imparted sharp details. Die Pairs 1 and 3 show a mushy reverse. The present coin displays medium olive brown patina and is well defined for the issue, the obverse showing the diagnostic softness it ended up selling for $13,800. That's wraps up today's episode. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to smash subscribe and notification buttons below to help us grow and reach more numismatic enthusiasts on YouTube. God's willing, see you in the next episode. Hey everyone, welcome back to CoinOzzy. In this episode we are going to look into 7 rare and valuable Lincoln cents sold at Heritage Auctions on November 6, 2023. Pay close attention to the details of these coins as the same varieties could be in your possession without your knowing it. Subscribe. Number 7. 1909 S Lincoln cent was repunched mint mark S over S. Graded in mint state 66 read by PCGS. These cherry pickers RPM is scarcer than the 1909S over horizontal S variety, displaying a secondary S punched north of the primary mint mark. Mint error notwithstanding, the 1909S without VDB is highly prized in premium gem red condition and is equally as scarce as 1909S VDB in high grade, making this 
vibrantly lustrous orange gold coin a prize for any Lincoln Cent collector or error specialists. Sold on November 6, 2023 for $3,840. Number 6. 1920s Lincoln Cent in MS65 red condition. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1920s is a challenging issue to acquire with original full red color, with a lesser number in MS63 or MS65. Gems like the current coin are the smallest group within the population, and no coins are finer in the red category. This piece displays delicate satin luster with soft autumn amber color that is undeniably original. Slight design softness in the margins attests to a later die state, while the central details are better defined, though not quite full. The 1920s, in addition to being scarce in full color, is never seen with a full strike. Sold on November 6, 2023, for $15,600. Number 5, 1909 VDB cent with double die obverse. Strong die doubling is evident on the date and the liberty. This is a more prominent of two double die obverse varieties for the 1909 VDB cent, and it is a rarity in superb gem red condition. This piece displays a sharp strike and rich orange gold luster with a satiny cartwheel effect. Eye appeal is excellent. A few microscopic amber toning specks are discernible with strong magnification. It ended up selling for $15,600. Number 4, 1917 Lincoln Cent was double die graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. Both the date and in God we trust show bold doubling on this immensely popular cherry pickers and guidebook variety. This is a fire red gem uncirculated example with lemon gold and lilac accents on the lustrous fine-grained surfaces. MS65 examples are of great rarity and in high demand among collectors and registry set enthusiasts. It was sold for $19,200. Number 3. 1911 Lincoln Cent in MS67 Plus red condition. The mint manufactured in excess of 101 million cents in 1911, yet only 27 submissions have qualified for the MS67 red level at PCGS. Six of them boast plus designations and only a single coin is finer. Finely textured fire orange surfaces are virtually mark-free save for a single tick on the O in one. Detail is pinpoint sharp. Sold on November 6, 2023 for $22,800. Number 2, 1915 D. Lincoln sent an MS67 red condition. In 2005, David Lang wrote in his Complete Guide to Lincoln Sands. As the population figures suggest, it is readily available in all grades, in all degrees of color, although Few of the red or red-brown coins are true gems. Collectors should have little trouble locating an example in MS64 or MS65 with red surfaces and even premium gems are offered usually multiple times a year. But superb gems with a red designation are prime condition rarities. PCGS has graded four examples in MS67 red with none finer. This spectacular superb gem offers impeccably preserved original red surfaces with vibrant mint luster and terrific eye appeal. It was sold for $40,800. Number 1, 1913 Lincoln Cent in MS67 Plus red condition. The 1913 Lincoln Cent claims a substantial mintage of more than 76.5 million pieces, making the issue relatively available in lower mint state grades. However, the population tops out at the MS67 grade level with a red designation and neither of the leading grading services has certified any examples in higher numeric grades. This plus graded super gem was once highlight of the fabulous Tucker collection. A few tiny microflex appear only with the aid of loop. It was sold for $60,000. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel for getting frequent updates on coin prices from different coin auctions of the world. Have a nice day. Hello dear viewers. 
In today's video we are going to talk about 7 highly sought after US coins you should not spend, mostly coins from 1970s. So without further ado, let's get started. Subscribe. Number 7. 1972s Washington Quarter Double Struck on a Cent Planchet. Graded as PR66 Red by NGC. Collar die did not fully deploy during the striking making coin expand into irregular shape. In God we trust, the date and the mint mark is crisply struck but the liberty is almost totally absent due to planchet size difference. This elusive error coin weighing 3.2 grams ended up selling for $9,600. Number 6. 1970d Kennedy half dollar. Graded in mint state 67 by NGC. According to coin grading service, this issue still carries a somewhat more modest premium today. This date was poorly made for the most part, the dies appearing a bit indistinct when new and then being used entirely too long. Gems are not rare, but the certified population grading higher than MS65 is rather limited. This MS67 specimen ended up selling for $9,843.75 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 1974s Washington Quarter. Elusive specimen in PR70 Ultimate Grade with deep cameo feature. From a proof mintage of 2.6 million pieces, this specimen is literally the perfect coin. Liquid mirror fields contrast boldly with the strongly impressed devices to produce a memorable deep cameo effect. Simply unimprovable. It was sold for $9,200. Number 4. 1970s Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, at one point this variety was thought to be just as rare as the 1969s Double Die, although today's certified population figures suggest it is marginally more plentiful, albeit still scarce in any grade. Strong doubling is most prominent throughout and God we trust and liberty, but is also visible on the date. We have seen only a few full red examples of this variety in recent years. This gem red example displays sharp definition and satiny copper red mint luster. The coin is devoid of carbon spotting, and only a few microscopic surface marks are evident. The CAC endorsement is well earned. It was sold for $9,600. Number 3. Bicentennial Silver Eisenhower Dollar. Graded in Mint State 69 by PCGS. The silver 1976s bicentennial dollar is widely available in certified capacity, although these coins largely reside in the MS66 and MS67 grade range, with the population dropping off sharply in MS68. This is in contrast to some clad issues in the series that are readily available even in MS69. The 1976s silver issue is a major rarity in MS69. This rare specimen fetched a sum of $18,600. Number 2. And this is 1972 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. The Cherry Picker's Guide lists 9 different varieties of Double Die Obverse 1972 cents, but FS101 is the guide book variety most in demand by collectors. The Obverse legends exhibit a spread that approaches the famous 1955 FS101. The present crisply struck superb gem offers booming luster and unabraded orange red surfaces. It ended up selling for $14,400. Number 1. 1943s Walking Liberty Half Dollar Struck on a Peruvian Half Sol Planchet. Graded in Mint State 63 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the present coin is ranked number 49 in the 2010 edition of 100 Greatest U.S. Era Coins, where it is noted that only two Walking Liberty Half Dollars are known struck on foreign planchets. In 1943, the U.S. Mint struck various denominations for Peru, including the brass half-sol at San Francisco. Somehow, the planchet made it between half-dollar dies. The satiny sun-gold and rose-red surfaces are unabraded but display minor carbon. FS101 exhibits die doubling on In God We Trust and the Sun's Rays. It was sold for $21,150. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and leave a comment. God's will, see you in the next episode. Greetings, coin aficionados. Delighted to have you back at CoinOz, the ultimate hub for all your numismatic pursuits. In this edition, we've prepared an exceptional showcase that's sure to captivate your curiosity. Join us as we embark on a journey through the realm of US coins, 
uncovering a fascinating array of seven rare pieces boasting unexpected values. Buckle up for an intriguing exploration. And, of course, if you enjoy our content, do consider clicking that subscribe button to stay connected. Number 7. 1968 D. Kennedy Half Dollar, indented by a half dollar struck on a quarter planchet. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this half dollar was struck normally the first time, then a new planchet was inserted into the press, but it was a quarter sized planchet that was struck by the half dollar press first, thus, the indent shows the flattened eagle of the half dollar along with Kennedy's head incus. A few surface scratches on the obverse cheek of Kennedy, perhaps from the ejection process. This error half was sold for $2,350. Number 6. 1957 D. Lincoln sent over struck on a Roosevelt dime. Graded as MS-61 by Annex. Struck over a previously struck Roosevelt dime with the prior devices and lettering clear in areas. Toned with copper gold on both sides with lustrous fields and minimal signs of handling. It ended up selling for $2,585. Number 5. 1999 P. Connecticut State Quarter struck on an experimental planchet. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. A fully struck medium gold example with intense satin luster to both sides. The Connecticut counterpart to the Pennsylvania State Quarter that is also struck on the same kind of experimental manganese alloy planchet. This one ended up selling for $2,880. Number 4. 1919 D. Lincoln sent. Graded in Mint State 65 plus red by PCGS. According to NGC, though an armistice was declared late in 1918, the superheated wartime economy rolled on into the following year. The Philadelphia Mint set a record for cent production in 1919 that was not exceeded until 1940 when another war loomed. This issue is common in all grades, and some of the finest early date Lincolns are 1919p cents. Though the amazingly detailed obverse hub of 1916 had already lost of some of its finer features, well-struck examples of this issue from fresh dyes are still quite pleasing when measured against the grossly distorted images from the 1940s-60s. This elusive penny was sold for $3,544.88 with buyer's fee. Number 3. 1914 D. Lincoln sent in Mint State 64 Red. This one comes with CAC sticker for premium quality for the issue. According to Heritage Auctions, although the 1909 SVDB is considered the key date to the Lincoln Cent series, its conditional rarity falls far behind that of many other dates, particularly in the finer red grades. The 1914 D stands out in this regard, confirming its key date status. Only 1.1 million Lincoln Cents were struck at the Denver Mint in 1914, and few high-quality specimens were saved by contemporary collectors. As a result, it is many times scarcer in MS-65 red than the 1909 SVDB, and is prohibitively rare any finer. This gem ended up selling for $14,231.25 with buyer's fee on December 3, 2023. Number 2. 1963 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. Type A Reverse. A beautifully toned superb gem. Jade green, golden brown, powder blue, and plum red endow this lustrous and well-preserved silver type coin. The present example is the finest certified by PCGS. It was sold for $11,162.50. Number 1. 1963 Franklin Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 Full Bell Lines by PCGS. John R. Sinek's half-dollar design featuring Benjamin Franklin was not due for replacement until 1973 according to the 25-year rule, but the shocking assassination of President John F. Kennedy in 1963 saw a swift movement to memorialize him on a coin, leaving Franklin and the Liberty Bell in the cold. This Philadelphia example from 1963 is notable for its full bell lines detail on the reverse. Bright luster is largely silver but has patches of gold and yellow toning on each side, more visibly the obverse. It ended up selling for $27,025. That's all folks. If you have one of these rare gems leave a comment down, below this video. And don't forget to smash subscribe and like buttons. Take care. Hey there, fellow coin enthusiasts, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got something truly exciting for you. In this video, 
we're diving deep into the world of numismatics as we explore seven rare and valuable Washington statehood quarters that have been known to command strong premiums at auctions. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your journey into the world of coin collecting, you're in for a treat. Number 7. 2001 P. North Carolina State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 69 by NGC. According to Jamie Hernandez, most collectors should have no trouble finding a 2001 P. North Carolina Quarter, as the U.S. Mint struck over 627 million examples for circulation. The typical example from circulation will have some noticeable wear but still be in uncirculated grades, with most examples still having luster. Only in MS 69 grade or higher are they difficult to find. This specimen was sold for $2,137.50 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 2006 D. North Dakota State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of November 2023, a state quarter from 2006 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 40 cents. However, on the open market 2006 D. Quarters in pristine, Uncirculated conditions sell for as much as $2,500. This specimen fetched a sum of $2,799 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 2009 P. American Samoa Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. The 2009 American Samoa Quarters were officially released by the U.S. Mint on July 27, 2009. The official ceremony for the American Samoa Quarters release, took place on September 4, 2009. The coins came in very nice quality and examples up to about MS-66 condition can be easily obtained. In MS-67 condition they appear to be scarcer but yet easily affordable at a small premium. In MS-68 condition they are very scarce with few examples known. This quarter ended up selling for $3,375 with buyer's fee. Number 4. 2002 D. Ohio State Quarter. Graded as MS69 by NGC. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of November 2023, a state quarter from 2002 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 40 cents. However, on the open market 2002 D. Quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $4,000. This superb gem fetched a sum of $3,768.75 with buyer's fee. Number 3. 2002 D. Indiana State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 69 by NGC. Highlighted on the coin is an image of a race car superimposed on an outline of the state, and 19 stars which signifies that the state was the 19th admitted into the Union. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of November 2023, a state quarter from 2002 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 40 cents. However, on the open market 2002 D. Quarters in pristine, Uncirculated conditions sell for as much as $4,500. This specimen was sold for $4,050 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 2004 P. Texas State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 69 by PCGS. It highlights an outline of the state with a star superimposed on the outline and the inscription, the Lone Star State. The lariat that encircles the design is symbolic of the cattle and cowboy history of Texas as well as the frontier spirit that tamed the land. As of November 2023 PCGS reported 107 specimens in MS-68 grade with guiding price of $100 with just single finer, this specimen in MS-69 grade. It was sold for $6,750 with buyer's fee. Number 1. 1999 S. Proof Delaware State Quarter graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. The highest grade available. The reverse design shows Caesar Rodney's historic horseback ride in 1776 to cast his vote in favor of Delaware signing the Declaration of Independence. According to PCGS, in 1999 the Mint struck Delaware proof quarters in a clad version and a 90% silver version. The 1999 S. Delaware proof silver quarters had a significantly lower mintage than that of the clads. Therefore, making the silver version scarcer as well as more expensive. In PR67 to about PR69 Deep Cameo the 1999 S. Delaware proof silver quarters are common. However, in PR70 Deep Cameo condition they are scarce and command a significant premium over PR69 Deep Cameo prices. 
If you have any questions or want to share your own numismatic discoveries, please feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Hey everyone. Good to be back with another episode featuring numismatic pinnacles of modern US coinage. Today we are going to show you 8 highly sought after coins sold at Stax Bowers for pretty large amounts. So let's get right into it. Subscribe. Number 8. This is Proof 1940 Jefferson Nickel. Graded as PR65 Cameo by PCGS. Important as a strike rarity, precious few proof 1940 Jefferson Nichols display the degree of field to device contrast that characterize the finish on both sides of this gem. Delicate golden iridescence in the fields, the devices exhibit hazy silver apricot highlights. This gem ended up selling for $1,035. Number 7. Attractively toned 1960 D. Roosevelt dime. Graded in mint state 67 full bands by PCGS. Brilliant on the reverse, the obverse is ringed in vivid, mottled, reddish russet and sea green peripheral toning. Such richly frosted and smooth, this coin is sure to please even the most discerning Roosevelt dime collector. This low pop dime fetched a sum of $1,495 at auction. Number 6. 1964 D. Washington Quarter in MS 67 condition. According to NGC, a mintage of 700 million quarters was unimaginable just two or three years earlier. In actual fact, the Denver Mint coined only 123,801,308 quarters in 1964, the remainder being struck the following year courtesy of a date freeze. The year of striking is, of course, indistinguishable by looking at the coins. These coins were made carelessly and in a hurry, so finding gems can be a challenge. A generous number have been certified through MS66, but finer pieces are in short supply and bring strong prices. This MS67 gem ended up selling for $2,530. Number 5. 1945 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition. With remarkably vivid toning in multiple colors blanketing smooth, frosty features. The huge mintage of 1945 P. Nickel seems to have led to rushed work of mediocre quality. Most are not fully struck, and worn dyes are frequently seen. On the plus side, so many mint state pieces survive that finding a decent one is just a matter of patience. This superb gem fetched a sum of $3,737.50 at auction. Number 4. 1951 D. Roosevelt Dime in MS-68 condition with full bands. Splendid olive gold and reddish-orange iridescence yields to brilliance in only a few isolated areas. Highly lustrous with fulsome mint frost, this pristine-looking superb gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. It was sold for $4,600. Number 3. 1926 S. Lincoln Scent in MS-64 Red Condition. A key issue to completion of a high-grade Lincoln Scent collection, the 1926 S is seldom offered with full red surfaces. This is just such a near gem, however both sides with original autumn orange color. Bold to sharp in strike, with a satiny texture that even reveals glints of modest semi-reflectivity in the fields at isolated angles. There are no sizable or otherwise individually distracting blemishes to report. It ended up selling for $10,351.15. Number 2. 1960D Large Date Penny. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. Delightful rose red luster dominates the outward appearance of this coin, although we do note blushes of pale gold tinting in isolated areas at the rims. A fully struck, satin textured superb gem with nary a detracting blemish to report. In 1960 the US Mint struck a large date and a small date variety for the Lincoln scent. For the large date, the nine digit in the date is higher than that of the small date. On the large date the top of the nine digit is significantly higher than the one digit in the date. This large date specimen ended up selling for $8,050. Number 1. 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938. A proof issue in PR68 condition. Great is endorsed by CAC. Silky smooth surfaces are adorned with beautiful silver rose, powder blue and pale gold iridescence. Uniformly mirrored in finish with a full strike and the strongest technical merits available in a proof Jefferson Nickel of this date. The 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938 was produced in a relatively small quantity. 
Out of the 120 million nickels produced in this year, there were about 10% that had the reverse of the 1938. Out of that 10%, there were 1 in 1,000 that can be found with the full step designation. This rarity fetched a sum of $18,400 at auction. Thanks for watching this video. Your likes and comments are highly appreciated guys. Support us by just hitting thumbs up and smashing subscribe buttons. Take care. Hey coin collectors, welcome back to CoinOz. Today we are going to take a closer look at 16 rare coins you should know about. So hit subscribe button below and let's get started. Number 16, 1990s Washington Quarter with double diverse, graded as PR70 deep cameo by PCGS. A top of a pop condition rarity. Strong doubling is apparent on the date and the mint mark. And this silver example is every bit as pristine as the grade implies. It was sold for $7,050. Number 15, 1999, D. Roosevelt Time brought struck on a scent planchet. Incredible error coin in MS64 brown condition. A dramatic error that accentuates the fact that the planchet was incorrect by the broad struck features. The devices are generally sharp, although some of the peripheral lettering displays the distortions caused by expansion of the planchet during the strike. Traces of zinc alloy are seen in a few places on the obverse and the reverse. It ended up selling for $7,500. Number 14, 1928 S. Lincoln Sentinel 65 Plus Red Condition. The numerical grade 65 Plus is assigned to coins by professional grading services such as PCGS or NGC, and it denotes a coin that is in superb condition with only minor imperfections. The red designation in the grade refers to the color of the coin. Lincoln Cents were initially made uh, with a composition of 95% copper, giving them a distinctive red color when newly minted. Over time, copper coins tend to oxidize and develop a brown color, so coins in red condition have retained much of their original copper luster. This red gem ended up selling for $7,594.88 with buyer's fee. Number 13, this is 2000 P Saka Javia dollar coin struck on a Washington quarter planchet, graded in mean state 67 by PCGS. Radiant, brilliant luster illuminates on abraded surfaces on this piece. With sharp central devices and strong cartwheel bands on each side, the rims are not fully defined as is a byproduct of the smaller quarter planchet. The strike is well centered. It fetched a sum of $7,800 at auction. Number 12, this is 1940 D. Lincoln Sentinel 68 red condition. The standard 1940 wheat scent issued from either the Philadelphia, Denver or San Francisco mint is in standard condition not worth very much. In average conditions, the DNS mint mark versions are worth slightly more than those with no mint mark. As with other wheat scent specimens, the 1940 scent's color matters. The red versions of these coins are worth more than the red, brown and brown. When it comes to grade, anything above MS67 is considered scarce and valuable. This MS68 gem ended up selling for $7,931.25 with buyer's fee. Number 11, here is 1951 Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. This otherwise brilliant example exhibits blushes of intense orange copper iridescence at the right reverse border and especially over the right third of obverse. A wisp or two of color extends towards the left border on the former side. The silky smooth surfaces are frosty and sharply struck throughout with extraordinary quality and eye appeal. It was sold for $8,400. Number 10, 1965 Kennedy of Dollar in MS67 Plus condition. A truly astounding example notable for its superior preservation and remarkable patina. The toning is dynamic and jewel-like, glowing with blended shades of iridescent antique gold, powder blue and salmon pink that sees the most vivid colors confined to the peripheries. The surfaces are intensely lustrous with fully frosted, silky smooth texture. 
it ended up selling for $9,000. Number 9, 1954 Franklin of Dollar from so-called Bugs Bunny variety, graded in mean state 67 with full bell lines by PCGS and proven by CAC. The Bugs Bunny variety comprises a small portion of the surviving 1954 Franklin Half Dollar population. Lovely lavender, blue, gold and cotton wood green toning adorns each side with frosty luster shining through. The preservation is nearly flawless. It was sold for $9,600. Number 8. This is 1982 D. Small Date Lincoln Sands struck on a bronze planchette, graded as AU58 by NGC. It is sharply struck and minimally braided with medium to deep walnut brown toning. Due to the rising cost of copper, Sands transitioned from bronze to copper plated zinc during 1982. The quality of strikes declined and modifications were made to the obverse legends, including the date, to allow faster press production of zinc sands. At Denver, the small date subtype was introduced after the remaining bronze planchets were coined. Any surviving 1982 D small date bronze sands are transitional alloy errors, cousins to the famous 1943 bronze sands. It was sold for $10,800. Number 7, 1962 Washington Quarter in MS67 Plus condition. A 1962 Washington Quarter in MS67 Plus condition is considered to be high grade coin, indicating that it is in exceptional condition with only minor imperfections. The plus designation is often given to the coins that exhibit superior eye appeal or strike quality, making them even more desirable to collectors. As for the value of 1962 Washington Quarter in MS67 Plus condition, it can be quite valuable. However, the exact value will depend on several factors including the current market demand, the specific coin's eye appeal, and the overall population of coins graded at that level or higher. This gem, for example, ended up selling for $15,750 with buyer's fee. Number 6, this is 2000 Lincoln cents struck on a 2000 New Hampshire quarter. Graded in an MS64 condition by PCGS, remnants of undertype are visible within the Lincoln cents strike surrounded by the quarter dollar periphery. The cent strike is well centered, unsinkable error coins that fetch the sum of $19,200 at auction. Number 5, 1957 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 Plus Red Condition, a conditionless scar super gem red example of this late wheat scent issue, rare in this grade with PCGS Plus designation. Luster is frosty and vibrant, yielding rich copper orange and rose red hues with no carbon spotting. Strike sharpness is similarly impressive, it was sold for $20,400. Number 4, 1945 D. Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. The peripheries are splashed with vivid multicolored toning that gives way to a softer powder blue and antique silver iridescence in the centers. Smooth enough to please even the most discerning numismatists. It was sold for $20,400. Number 3, 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS65 condition with full steps. The key status of 1953 S has been recognized for at least 30 years, second only to the impossible 1954 S. Nickel. Bernard Nagengast explains, although easily found as BU coin, most are struck from worn dies. Full strike blazers are periodically seen but are rare. A full strike 5 full step coin is a major rarity and few have been discovered. This is one of the real stoppers. This truly rare gem ended up selling for $24,000 in 2019. Number 2, 1923 S. Lincoln Sentinel 65 red condition. For the collector of high quality Lincoln scents, the opportunity to acquire this boldly struck full red gem 1923S should not be overlooked. The reverse is actually sharply defined throughout, indicative of a strike from a fresh dye, and both sides possesses outstanding luster in a warm medium rose shade. It ended up selling for $28,800.
Number 1 and the most valuable coin of this episode, 1955 Lincoln Cent with double diverse. This is a breathtakingly beautiful rare example of perhaps the most popular of all Lincoln Cent varieties. Best in a blend of medium orange and pale rose color, pale rose colors. The surfaces are fully lustrous with a soft satin finish. The dye is imparted sharp to full definitions throughout the design. The all-important obverse doubling readily evident to the naked eye. Generally pristine, a few extremely faint and easily overlooked carbon flecks are all that and even to preclude even higher grade. This MS65 Plus Red Penny was sold for $114,000. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to hit like and subscribe buttons before you watch another video. Stay well. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have an incredible topic that every coin collector need to know about. We are here to reveal 15 exclusive coins that you should never ever part ways with. These rare gems are collectors dream and hold immense value in the numismatic world. So hit that subscribe button below. And let's get started. Number 15. This is 1949 S. Roosevelt Dami, in MS67 plus condition, with full bands, attractively toned high end gem. The 1949 S. Dime has the second lowest mintage for Roosevelt Dimes of all dates and mints during the Silver Series, and it was immediately targeted by speculators for hoarding. Their efforts were moderately successful, and the supply of mint state coins is adequate to the demand. The huge certified population, even in higher grades, reflects a continued interest in the premium issue. This gem was sold for $1020. Number 14, here is 1949 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 Plus Red Condition, Top Grade Registry Candidate. This spot free superb gem, Red 1949 Lincoln Cent, ranks as one of the finest pieces certified in red category. I appeal is excellent. It was sold for $1980 on July 21st, 2023. Number 13. This is 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent in MS64 red and brown condition. An eminently collectible example of this popular first year and one year type coin. Glowing mint red color is overlaid by just the slightest hint of chestnut brown. The devices are sharply defined and problem free, complementing pleasant satin mint luster. Sold on July 21st, 2023 for $3,600. Number 12, here is rare 1949 S Franklin half dollar in MS68 condition. The 1949 S Franklin half dollar claims a relatively small mintage of 3.7 million pieces and the issue is prime condition rarity in grades above MS67 with or without full bell lines. Most mint state examples show subdued mint set toning. But serious specialist Rick Tomaska notes, attractive multicolored pieces are extremely scarce and rarely encountered. It ended up selling for $3,720. Number 11. 1915 Lincoln Center in PR65 red and brown condition. According to Heritage Auctions website, this is a fully struck, mud proof with luminous original surfaces. Chestnut brown, orange, and green hues adorn each side, with only a few microscopic flecks visible beneath the loop. The 1915 boasts a small mintage of 1150 pieces, the second lowest mintage among the proof Lincoln Sands. It was sold on July 21, 2023 for $3,840. Number 10, 1916 Mercury Dial in extremely fine 40 condition. This first year key is typically only seen in well circulated grades with occasional mint state piece appearing at auction. Extremely fine and, and about uncirculated representatives are seldom offered. This piece shows just slight wear with natural pewter gray and golden hues over each side. The mint mark is clear and the central devices are well defined. It ended up selling for $5,880.
Number 9. This is 1946 S. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. Approaching perfection, this tantalizing smooth 46 S. Quarter does not reveal so much as a single trivial detraction. Potent frosty luster is very much in evidence, however the beautiful toning in orange, gold, royal purple and silver rose colors is simply exquisite. A high grade example that ended up selling for $7,200. Number 8, here is 2000 P. Sacagawea dollar with rare mint error, so-called wounded eagle variety, graded in mint state 68 by PCGS. Massive die gauge pierces the eagle's midsection of this interesting cherry picker's guide variety. This is one of the top examples certified and only the second MS68 offered at Heritage. Each side is nearly flawless with bright lemon gold color and cartwheel luster. It was sold for $7,200. Number 7. 1917 S. Lincoln Sentinel 65 Plus Red Condition. Outstanding preservation and eye appeal for this conditionally challenging issue. Dressed in a vivid rose orange mint color, both sides are further adorned with full satin luster, sharply to fully struck throughout with an impressively smooth appearance that would please even the most discerning collectors. According to Stacksbauer's website, the 1917S is scarce at lower mid-state levels and rare with quality shown here. Number 6, 1924 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 red condition, an enchanting piece with delightful golden red color and shimmering mint frost highlights flawlessly clean surfaces. It was sold for $9,400. Number 5. Here is 1922 Nodi Lincoln Scent in AU58 condition. Diaper 2 denotes a strong reverse variety for the 1922 Nodi Scent, which is the most sought after variation of the guidebook variety. The no descent is a major rarity in red or red and brown condition leaving most collectors to seek attractive brown coins such as current CEC example. The reverse is sharp as the die paired to designation requires while the obverse shows the diagnostic die weakness. Number 4, this is 2000 P. Sakajavi dollar struck on a sand planchette graded in MS67 red condition by NGC. The dollar strike is flush with the upper obverse and lower reverse borders, and all major design elements are at least partially discernible except for the legend United States of America on the reverse, which is mostly off the planchette, satiny bright pinkish red surfaces with razor sharp detail to all features that are present. It was sold for $22,800. Number 3. Here is 1954S Jefferson Nicola in MS66 condition with full steps. A very rare date with a full steps designation. Very well struck. All of Monticello's steps are fully separated and defined. Likewise, all other details of Jefferson's below home are crisply rendered. As expected for a very high grade coin, the surfaces are boldly lustrous with only a few microscopic marks. It was sold for $30,550. Number 2. This is 1943 Lincoln Cent overstruck on a 1943 Mercury Dime. This intriguing and rare double denomination error is ranked number 39. In popular reference, 100 greatest US error coins. Portions of all four digits since the date of for the Mercury Dime are discernible within the lower portion of the right wheat ear. It was sold for $33,600. And the number one here is Vivid Litton 1932 S. Washington Quarter in Mid State 66. The 1932 S quarter has the honor of being the lowest mintage circulating issue of this coin era. According to NGC, the number coined is fairly close 
to the mintage of 1932d quarters as neither coin was needed in commerce at that time. The mint struck just enough to provide collectors with three mint sets plus an additional quantity to foil speculators. It was thought at the time that 400,000 coins was minted that could never become rare. But rapid expansion of the coin collecting hobby after the mid 1930s soon prompted the hoarding of both 1932D and 1932S quarters in all grades. This true rarity was bargained for $32,625. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow collectors, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. See you in the next episode. Hey everyone, coin collecting can be exciting and a potentially lucrative hobby. You never know what treasure you might come across in your collection. Today we will be revealing 16 rare coins that command high values and could be hidden in your pocket chain. So hit that subscribe button below this video and let's get started. Number 16, the 1966 Canadian Elf dollar is not considered rare or valuable in general. The coin was minted in large numbers, and it is relatively common to find them in circulation or in collector's hand. However, the value of a coin can vary depending on its condition and any unique characteristics it may possess. If your 1966 Canadian Elf dollar is in mint state 66 condition, it is considered to be in excellent condition with only minor imperfections. This higher grade can increase the value compared to coins in lower grades. Attractive toning, like in this one can also add to its appeal for certain collectors who appreciate colorful patina on the coins. This relatively scarce Canadian dollar ended up selling for $1080. Number 15, 1977s Eisenhower dollar in PR68 cameo condition. An error dollar coin double struck on a half dollar planchette. With weight of 11.2 grams, just shy of expected 11.34 grams weight of clad Canada of dollar. This somewhat all wrong planchette mint error was struck flush with color dye between 3 and 7 o'clock, where reading is evident. The date and mint mark are bold, the portrait and eagle are complete. It fetched the sum of $3,360 at auction. Number 14, 1940s Washington Quarter in MS67 condition with star designation. Enticing gold, crimson, emerald green, and lime gold toning occurs near the left of worst border and in a variegated fashion across the rivers. Fully struck and pristine, this is a great superb gem quarter with exceptional visual appeal that's confirmed by star designation from NGC. It was sold for $7,050. Number 13, here is 1927s Lincoln penny in MS65 red condition. This penny used to be a gem from Tom Merchant collection. 1927s Lincoln sent grade as MS65 red is indeed considered a valuable coin. The S mint mark indicates that it was minted in San Francisco. The red designation signifies that the coin has retained its original copper red color to a significant extent. In general, coins from earlier years tend to be more valuable due to their scarcity and historical significance. This Lincoln cent is no exception. It ended up selling for $9,600 in May 2023. Number 12, 1963 Washington Quarter in mid state 67. Attractive crescents of orange copper and golden olive iridescence decorate the peripheries of this otherwise brilliant and frosty example. Also, the Denver Mint struck a large total of 135,288,184 quarters in 1963. Precious few have been preserved with enough care to secure a superb gem rating from PCGS, a find for an astute specializing in the 90% silver Washington Quarter series. It was sold for $8,400. Number 11, an error nickel, 2000 P. Jefferson nickel struck on a 1978 Lincoln cent, graded as MS65 red and brown by Anex. An error that presumably required some help either from meat worker or mischievous meat visitor. 
since the St. Holst was struck 22 years before its nickel overstrike. The 1978 cent date is faint but legible near the back of Jefferson's head, a lustrous near gem with dusky gold and lilac red toning. It ended up selling for $12,075. Number 10. 1953 as Franklin half dollar in MS65 condition with full bell lines. Also an available date in context of Syria, this San Francisco issue is anything but common with full bell lines designation. The 1953S has a reputation as being the weakest struck date in Syria, a fact that's borne out by a low number of full bell lines grading events at either service. The strike is unusually sharp on this luster gem coin, with both definition on all of the raised elements, inc including the touchstone bell lines. It ended up selling for $14,100. Number 9. Here is 1992 D. Lincoln Cent MS65 red condition, highly elusive close AM subtype. A transitional variety that has a reverse of 1993. The design subtype is identified by a close AM in America and the distant FG initials from the Lincoln Memorial and was used on all proof and business strikes for 1993. Apparently, a single reverse die intended to be paired with 1993D reverse instead was used to strike 1992D cents, likely shortly prior to the date transition. The present peach gold gem is pristine without carbon or contact. It was sold for $14,100. Number 8. This is 1927 D. Lincoln Cent in MS66 red condition. From a substantial mintage of more than 27 million pieces, the 1927 D. Lincoln Cent becomes elusive at the MS65 red grade level, and finer red coins are virtually unobtainable. This coin exhibits razor sharp definition on all design elements, and the original red surfaces are virtually flawless. It fetched the sum of $14,250. Number 7. The 1955 double die of Versant probably ranks as the single most celebrated double die error of the 20th century, the subject of innumerable articles since the time it was minted. The error was caused by a change in positioning of the hub with respect to the die after the die had already received at least one impression from the hub. These ordinarily would have resulted in a worse type being rejected from the use. But the meat workers responsible for quality control failed to notice the error until several thousand impressions had already been made. Doubling on the date liberty and in God we trust is as bold as can be. This MS65 red gem was bargained for $26,400. Number 6, 1950 Washington Quarter with repunched mint mark D over S. The curve of under mint mark S is visible at the top left and top side of the subsequent D, one of several fun cherry pickers varieties known for this issue. The surfaces are silvery throughout both sides with just a light blush of toning through sorrow luster and excellent eye appeal. It was sold for $29,375. Number 5, 1932 S. Washington Quarter in MS66 condition, key date representative. The Washington Quarter series began as a commemorative design for the bicentennial of the first U.S. president's birth. Started with a decently high mintage in Philadelphia, but two low mintage branch issues in Denver and San Francisco. While the 1932 S. Quarter is more available than its D mint counterpart in mint state grades, even the 1932S is a significant condition rarity at the MS66 level. This fantastic gem ended up selling for $35,250. Number 4. 1927S Lincoln Cent in MS65 Plus Red Condition The 1927S Cent is challenging issue to acquire in full red condition, and at the gem level such pieces are major rarities. No higher grade pieces are known with full red surfaces. The finest of the red gems are 3 plus graded pieces at PCGS 
Satiny luster abounds on each side, yielding orange gold, rose, and faint greenish hues, all of which fall into red color category. It was sold for $36,000 in 2022. Number 3. The 1926S Peace Dollar is more plentiful than its Denver counterpart in lower mid state grades, but in MS66 it's conditionally rarer, and the San Francisco issue is nearly unknown finer. This example surpasses expectations for the grade, yielding brilliant radiant cartwheel luster and boldly rendered design elements. Neither side exhibits notable abrasions, making eye appeal outstanding. It fetched the sum of $38,400. Number 2, 1995 W Silver Eagle in PR70 deep cameo condition. Truly an exceptional example, this technically perfect specimen displays a white on black appearance due to the deeply frosted devices and strongly mirrored fields. The eye appeal is extraordinary on both sides. A few extremely tiny as made strike screws are present when examined closely, but they do not detract from the strong desirability this piece possesses. It was sold for $41,125. Number 1. And here is 1950 on Lincoln and Pristine MS68 Red Condition, CEC proven fantastic red gem. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the 1915P Lincoln Sand is one of the most difficult wheat Lincoln Sands to find in red uncirculated grades that were struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Only the 1914P is tougher than the 1915P in red uncirculated grades from Philadelphia struck with Lincoln Sands. These MS68 red gem ended up selling for $81,562.00. And 50 cents with buyer's fee in 2023. That wraps up our list of rare coins that could potentially hold hidden wealth. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Welcome to our channel where we unveil the hidden treasures of the coin collecting world. Today, get ready to discover 15 ultra rare coins that you should never spend. So hit subscribe and bell buttons below this video and let's get started. The 1941 proof Lincoln Sand is considered valuable and relatively rare. Proof coins are special, carefully struck coins using polished dies and planchettes, resulting in a sharp, mirror-like finish. These coins are produced primarily for collectors and are not intended for general circulation. In 1941, the United States Mint struck proof Lincoln cents for collectors, and these coins are highly sought after by numismatists. This example was graded as PF67 Red by NGC, and it was sold for $3,240 recently on eBay. This is 1956 Roosevelt Dam in Mint State 68 condition with full bands designation. The full bands designation is used by grading services to indicate that the bands on the torch are fully struck and well defined. The obverse has an extraordinary display of blue, green, violet, and gold toning. The reverse is essentially all brilliant with only faint powder blue toning at the border. This vividly toned dime ended up selling for $5,520. A 1920 cent graded as MS67 indicates that the coin is in exceptional condition with minimal to no wear or damage. Such a high grade is relatively scarce as most circulated coins from that era exhibit signs of wear resulting from being in circulation for an extended period. The rarity and the value of 1920 cent graded as MS67 can vary based on factors such as mint mark, variety, and overall market demand. Additionally, the historical significance and popularity of the coin can influence its desirability among collectors. This specimen is boldly struck with all the qualities of superb mint state Lincoln, including fiery golden orange color and glistening mint luster. It was sold for $6,300. Here is 1977D Canada Elf Dollar in Mint State 62, an error coin struck on a 40% silver planchette. 
The 40% silver alloy, a holdover from the 1965 debasement, was supposed to have been struck for the final time on the 1967. On the 1976, a bicentennial half dollar and Ike dollar. But it happened so that a very small quantity of misplaced or leftover 40% silver planchets ended up between dies for the next year's coinage, lustrous, lightly toned, sharply struck, and well preserved it ended up selling for fifty eight hundred and seventy five dollars another error coin 1965 lincoln cents struck on a silver dime planchet highly soft after transitional error graded as au 58 by ngc the 1965 lincoln cents struck on a silver 10 cent blank is highly unusual and valuable error coin. However, these error coins have been known to sell for several thousand dollars at auction or through private sales, especially when they are in exceptional condition and exhibit clear, well struck design elements on the planchette. It was bargained for $6,600. Moving on with this 1941 Jefferson Nickel in PR 68 condition. Closing examination with a loop confirms the nearly perfect status of this coin as indicated by the grade. But the desirability of this piece is not limited to mere preservation of the surfaces. The untampered originality of the surfaces are demonstrated by streaks of rose, ice blue, and green iridescent toning seen over each side. Only 18,720 proofs were struck in 1941, but surprisingly, Few were set aside by contemporary collectors. Undoubtedly, this proof will be avidly sought after by registry set collectors. It fetched the sum of $6,600 at auction. Here is 2000 P. Saka Javia dollar in mean state 67, highly elusive, cheeriest dollar with boldly detailed tail feathers. A spectacular super gem example of one of the most fascinating and rare modern U.S. mint varieties, this highly lustrous and satiny piece has surfaces that are free of grade limiting blemishes. Early in 2000, General Mills makers of Cheerios breakfast cereal coupled with U.S. mint to place new Sacagawea dollars in box of their cereal and heighten the nation's awareness of the coin. Some 10 million boxes of the Cheerios were part of the promotion, each containing a newly minted Lincoln cent. Another 5,500 boxes also contained the 2000 dated Sacagawea dollars. The Cheerios dollar had a different reverse style than the regular circulation strikes with eagle's tail feathers on the reverse enhanced in their detail, exceptionally well preserved. The superb gem offered here, the superb gem shown here, is a must-have for any serious collector of modern varieties. It ended up selling for $6,600. Moving on with this 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938, graded as PR68 by PCGS and proven by CEC, a proof variant that shows the wavy steps on Monticello as seen in 1938. This is a truly superb representative that has a colorful rainbow-like toning scheme at the peripheries on each side, beautifully original. There are no mentionable marks or spots. It fetched the sum of $7,200 at auction. This is 1971 Eisenhower dollar in MS66 plus condition. Ice blue and rose blankets the surfaces of this attractive gem. This is the first year of issue and popular rebirth of the dollar-sized coin. A total of 47,799,000 pieces were struck that year. This superb gem was sold for $10,281.25 at auction. Here is 1944 Washington Quarter struck on a steel sand planchet, rare wrong planchet error. It weighs 2.68 grams. Highlight of extensive mint error offering in the John Whitney Walter collection, this piece exhibits a full date and clear mint mark area. The strike is flush to the lower obverse and upper reverse borders, all design elements that are present exhibiting sharp definition. 
The obverse is bright and satiny, the reverse is a bit darker with light granularity and scattered oxidation. These are rare and they enjoy further appeal among specialists due to their association by date and Planchet's stock with 1944 steel scents and their more famous 1943 bronze scent counterparts. It ended up selling for $16,200. Next, 1968 No S time, also known as 1968 Roosevelt time without a mint mark. It is considered a rare and valuable error coin. The No S designation refers to the absence of the mint mark S, which should be present on dime struck at the San Francisco mint. The 1968 No S time is highly sought after by collectors due to its scarcity and the intriguing nature of the error. The coin was not intended for circulation and is believed to be a result of a mint worker's oversight, making it a significant and desirable variety. Remember that the value of 1968 no time can fluctuate based on the market conditions and buyer interest. Working with professionals in the numismatic field can assist you in navigating the selling process and achieving the best possible outcome. These ultra cameo specimens in PR68 condition ended up selling for $25,200. Here is 1922 No D. Lincoln scent with strong reverse. Great enemy stay 63 brown by PCGS. A satiny, deep golden brown specimen with lively underlying luster and trace here and there of mint orange iridescence among the devices. Choice for the grade with surfaces that hold up amazingly well to magnified examination. Obverse devices soft at in god we. The balance of design relatively strong in this die state, though certainly nowhere as sharp as reverse. Sold for $32,200. Moving on with his 1947 Washington Quarter in MS68 condition, halos of lovely pinkish apricot and champagne gold iridescence ring the peripheries and frame essentially brilliant centers. This is beautiful coin and also an exceptionally well-preserved one and it ended up selling for $32,400 in 2021. Here is 1918 Lincoln Scent in MS68 red condition. This virtually flawless example really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Silky smooth surfaces exhibit vivid mint color of beautiful pinkish red. The striking detail is razor sharp to full throughout the design, and the eye appeal is extraordinary. While there is no denying that the 1918 is one of more plentiful early date Lincoln Scents, High quality mint state examples are scarcer than those of 1916 and 1919. Near the pinnacle of numismatic preservation and quality, this full red ultra gem is one of utmost condition rarities. It was sold for $55,200 at auction. And the most valuable coin of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. 1925 D. Lincoln sent in MS66 red condition, CAC proven enchanting gem. In MS66 red condition, the 1925 D. Lincoln scent becomes scarcer as coins of this grade are known for their excellent preservation and eye appeal. The combination of being in an uncirculated state, having a high grade, and displaying vibrant red color can significantly enhance its desirability. And value among collectors, it ended up selling for $92,812.50 with buyer's fee in January 2023. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this episode and have found it helpful. Please hit subscribe and like buttons before you watch another video. Have a nice day.